For over a thousand years, the inhabitants of Equestria used their magic to both orbit the sun and moon around the planet and bring seasonal weather to their land. All this due to the fact that their planet has neither a natural orbit nor a planetary rotation. Why this is the case is not fully understood, remaining an open avenue for debate. As of yet, one of the more interesting explanations we have is the Cataclysm Hypothesis. The theory goes that Equestria once had a normal functioning planetary rotation and orbit very similar to our own. The inhabitants would thus be used to a natural day-night cycle, along with annual seasons caused by an elliptical orbit around the sun. However, at some point in the ancient past, all of this completely changed. Whatever the actual cause, the only thing the inhabitants of Equestria would have known is that the sun, moon and stars had seemingly stopped moving entirely. A situation with potentially catastrophic ramifications for the whole planet, as temperature extremes start to build as a consequence. According to the theory, the desperate inhabitants of Equestria mistakenly believed the sun had literally stopped moving and thus believed moving it themselves to be the only solution. Amazingly, they successfully managed this, eventually taking on management of both the sun and moon. Without an elliptical orbit, their world still lacked any seasonal change. Thus, they resolved to artificially replicate the seasons themselves in a bid to bring everything back to the way it was. A practice that has continued for thousands of years up until the end of G4. This is the basis of the Cataclysm Theory. The planet completely stops and the inhabitants start moving the sun to compensate. A possible explanation for why the sun and moon had to be raised and set within G4. The theory is one I've alluded to in the past, though even this one has its issues. The main one is the discrepancy between the expected effects of a permanent day or night and what we've actually seen in the Nightmare Moon alternate timeline. Point being, the effects may have been much less damaging than what we might expect. It's also hard to find a reasonable explanation for the other planets, which seem to remain within some form of orbit despite the circumstances. The best guess I have is that the moving sun eventually pulled them into a regular orbit through gravity, though there are other possibilities. It's also unknown what is still prompting the day-night cycle in G5, though the apparent lack of magic could imply a magical explanation behind the initial cataclysm. Thus what is happening in G5 could therefore be a return to normality. Most of all, the cataclysm theory isn't really a theory so much as it is a framework for a theory, or a fragment, with no real core explanation behind the initial cataclysm. Though that's not to say we don't have possible candidates. Not only are there actual spells which can affect entire stars from light years away, but we've even seen how surges of magic can affect the planet's surface from outside the solar system. The idea that an ancient magic surge once struck the planet is actually supported by issue 1 of the MLP comics, an especially powerful convergence having once occurred over 3,000 years prior to the G4 era. In the end, anything from an accident or deliberate act to a magical natural disaster could easily offer an explanation for such a hypothetical event. In any other universe, the idea that the entire planet could completely stop moving with very few ill effects would be completely nonsensical. In MLP, it's practically expected. Of course, the biggest rule of thumb when it comes to MLP theories revolves around whether there are any other explanations that make more sense and cover all factors. This is where I leave the question open for others. Did something unusual happen to Equestria, or is there a far simpler explanation? Let me know what you all think. Anyways, thank you.